how do we get more exclusives, more market share for our clients? Mm. Uh, Sai, how about you? Can you respond to this one? Sure. Thanks, Rich. Thank you, everybody, uh, for having me first time on the uh, on the call, talking to the entire uh, Artec team. Appreciate the opportunity, Rangini, AJ, and everybody. So uh, I'm seeing a team here. It's all about relationship. And I think uh, when, when we talk about market share, uh, first of all, the timing for this question couldn't be more perfect. Uh, I think everybody is going through account planning sessions uh, now and in the coming weeks. And like many of our competitors, we always focus on market share and benchmark our performance against our competitors. Once we know how we measure up against the competition, we then build strategies around how we can gain more market share. Sales and recruiting both. Everybody at Artec can play a major role in helping us with this important initiative, which is how, to get, how do we get more market share? And I'm sure all of the salespeople on this call will agree that getting exclusives from a client is a direct reflection of the quality of our relationship with that client, and it takes time and effort. That's what I was talking about. I'm seeing a theme here, relationship, relationship, relationship. As we close out the year, my ask of our sales organization is to focus on the following. Evaluating every single one of our existing relationships. Be honest about it. Removing ourselves from noise and concentrating on activities that help strengthen our position within each one of our customers. We must communicate with our current and potential targets as often as possible, which will help us build lasting relationship, right? Focus here is often. We all know that the company has set a minimum expectation for each salesperson to have 10 meetings per week, and we must hold ourselves accountable to meet and perhaps exceed that goal. The last thing I'll ask uh, of our salespeople is that now that the pandemic is over, and behind us, we need to focus on getting more face-to-face -face meetings. I think everybody touched on this, right? Uh, so it's it's not just our tech. There's 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 a lot of research and consensus between the experts that face-to-face -face interactions with our customers or anybody for that matter tend to be more engaging, more positive in nature, and help us bring bring uh, build stronger and closer relationships. Now on to recruiting. As I mentioned earlier, everybody plays a role, right? In, in helping us gain market share. Recruiting and TMS, they could also and should also support our pursuit for uh, more exclusive buys and increasing our market share. When speaking with candidates, whether it's recruiters or TMS, we need to be asking certain questions. And those questions will help account managers and market leaders uh, with getting more market share and more uh, exclusive buys. Some of those questions uh, could be, when we're talking to our candidates, what projects are they assigned to? How many contractors do their agency have working in that pro on that project or in that department? What are the pay rates? What are, what are competitors paying? What else are they offering? What they like and don't like about their uh, agency, staffing agency? when the project may end, right? Gives us some insight how long these projects are. And most importantly, who is the hiring manager or the buyer? Finally, as we continue the pursuit to increase our market share within each one of our customer, we need to understand and acknowledge that all of us share this responsibility and should collaborate with each other to achieve our goal. Back to you, Rich. Thank you for the opportunity.